Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a really great day so far. I got up this morning. I did my walk. It was raining. And for a split second, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to go. It's raining, obviously. I can't go walking when it's raining. And I thought, why not? It's The temperature is great. It was in the 60s. Um, and there was, obviously it was completely overcast, so it was nice and cool. I think it was like 60, 61. And, uh, the rain wasn't too heavy. I mean, it was coming down, but it wasn't a gully washer or whatever. Um, and I just got my umbrella and I headed out and I went to the park and it was beautiful. And I did a little short because I just wanted to share the vibe with all of you because it was just so peaceful and it so beautiful to me and I just wanted to kind of share it with you guys and let you guys know that I was going to come back and I was going to make these um videos today I'm going to do two separate videos instead of together that way the people that are interested in one thing can see that and not have to be watching the other but two different yarn reviews I thought I was going to be able to do a third but man my package from Lion Brand it's taken its sweet time. They finally mailed it out yesterday and I think I placed my order like the 5th or 6th of October. But to be fair, it was a big sale. And I'm pretty excited to share with you guys what I got and if it's something I will repurchase in the future at regular price. Sorry guys, I kicked my table. Anyway, um. One of the first things I guess I'll go over is what I'm wearing. I have decided that it would be in my best interest to wear one of my knit or crochet pieces in each video and then provide you guys with the information in case you want to make it. So this is the Habitat cardigan. I did show it in my whip parade and it is a free pattern. Um, what is that? I think it's Make and Do Crew is the YouTube channel that it is on. It is called the Habitat Cardigan, and I will put a link down below um, in the video description area that you guys can just click right to it if it's something that you're interested in. It is so cozy. It's just a big oversized cardigan. I'll stand up and let you guys see. It's just like a big cocoon type of a wear. I love it. I love it with my, the Cure shirt. I, I think it's just because this shirt has like this brownish color in it and it's all, this is a big oversized shirt and this is a big oversized cardi and it just makes me feel so cozy and cuddly when I have it on together. And my favorite thing about this, well, my two favorite things, I love this neckline. It is like a ribbed panel that goes all the way around to the, all the way at the bottom. And just really, I love cardigans that have those wrap around paneled necklines. And I love the sleeves. I have very short arms, so my sleeves are extra long, ribbed, but that's fine because I can just roll them up to where I need them. And I really just, I love that look. So again, the link to this will be down below. It's free and you guys can give it a shot if you like it. I, think you will because it's super cozy. If you like to be cozy like me, then you'll like this. Okay. I've got everything set up here. I'm so happy. I just feel so happy today, guys. Fall is my season. I feel like I'm in my element. I was feeling so bad this past weekend. I didn't know if it was a flare up, an autoimmune flare. I thought that at first and then I started to think, gosh, do I have the Rona? Do I have the flu? Do I have something? Because man, I feel awful. But it was just like a 24 hour thing and then I felt good again. And I'm so blessed because I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Um, I woke up feeling real good and I've just resolved to just be good to me. I want to treat myself very precious. And I think it's something that we don't do. Um, and I don't just mean not running yourself ragged because just laying around not doing anything isn't really treating yourself precious either. It's, you know, um, 
especially when it's just quiet and you're feeling not good and you know you don't want to get into these bad mental states too by just not doing anything so I've been enjoying my walks I love that going walking in the morning um, just to start my day out it, it makes me just feel like I even if I don't get anything else done I feel like I did that I did that thing for myself and that's good um, I am having some beautiful wonderful awesome peppermint vanilla peppermint tea by yogi tea today and i love this tea it feels really good if you have any kind of stomach problems um this is just very and actually i think it is marketed on the box that it says that it's helpful for digestion but it really is it's super soothing but it's just really good anyways vanilla and peppermint i love it so let's see what is our wisdom, our advice today from Yogi. It says, know the unknown, hear the unheard, see the unseen. That is beautiful and perfect for this Samhain season. How nice, I love it. Mm. Okay guys, let's get into this little, little mini yarn haul. This is my Golden Girls um, Yarn of the Month Club from Trilogy Yarns, as well as I purchased um, a bonus skeins. Um, there was some skeins on sale that I was interested in. Um, I really wanted to get their Halloween Advent, but I was slow. I was shy. I, didn't get it done fast enough and it was gone before I knew it. But there was a color, some colorways. I don't know if, if maybe she has excess and this may not have even been part of it, but I thought this is interesting because it had a really crazy name. She has sale sections and I went on and ordered some sale yarn just to see because the name intrigued me and I got it and I love this yarn. It's so pretty. But let us start with the Golden Girls Monthly Club. Now, I haven't even taken this out of the plastic yet. I get the DK. You can choose with her club which sock base you want, okay? Which is, I think, the coolest thing um, because I do have a lot of fingering weight yarn. I love it but it's nice that you can choose. You can choose, she's got several different bases for her fingering weight. She's got, I don't know, she's got one that has glitter strand running through it. She's got a couple of different um, bases as far as what the fiber content is in fingering weight. And then she has this beautiful DK. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this so much. So I will tell you guys all about this yarn after I get it out of the plastic. Sorry, I wanted to open it with you guys, so I did, hadn't opened it yet. I love it, I love it. I'm hoping that this color will come true. I don't really have any artificial, I'm gonna have my regular overhead light on, but I don't have any artificial light shining through because it's so frustrating to me when I see my videos back and the colors are so wildly off. Um, like one of the hats in my um, FO parade, I was calling it Florange because it's really a fluorescent orange with a pink hue. And on the video, it just looked like straight up hot pink. And I thought, boy, these people probably think I'm crazy and don't know how to see colors. But that was an artificial light day. Today, it's raining and it's overcast, but that's good because I have the curtains open and it's got lots of good natural lighting without having bright beams coming in. Anyway. This is the Trilogy Yarns DK Sock Set Golden Girls Club. So with the Golden Girls Club, you get a full size skein and a coordinating mini skein. This color is so pretty. It, on my monitor and to my eye, it's showing appropriately. It's this beautiful tealy kind of color. And then we've got this gorgeous purple that has some greens there's a couple of like teal there's tealy specks in there and this I love this green this is pretty I like this a lot 
purple and green. I love that. I love it. So we'll see what I do with that. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I thought about trying to make a DK weight sock head beanie. Um, just the style. Obviously, I would have to decrease the number of stitches that I use when I actually use fingering sock weight yarn. But I thought, well, maybe I could use my Trilogy Yarns Clubs to make my own little sock or sock head beanies, not in sock weight. Just change the count. I think for the adult small, which is what I usually make, I think it's like 132 or 136 stitches. That is a free pattern, by the way. I will I'll post a link down below. Um, but on Ravelry, it's just called the sock head hat. Um, anyway, I think with a DK, maybe I could just cast on, it's gotta be in multiples of eight. So maybe try casting on like, oh, oh that scared me. Oh, something popped up on my phone and I wasn't expecting it. Anyways, I don't know. A multiple of eight, close around 100-ish, I guess. Uh, maybe just over. I just have to think about that. I think when I do worsted weight, I usually cast on around 80 or 88. So somewhere between that and the 132 or 136, I think it's 136, whatever that you have to cast on. Kind of get in the middle there and cast it on and see about making a sock head hat with this. This yarn content, just for you guys to know, it is, like I said, it's called the, it's the MCN DK. And it is Merino Cashmere. Yeah, it's 80% um, superwash Merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. So the, um, yeah, sorry. I'm spacey. That's uh, not unusual. And I'm also going very blind. I keep putting things further away from my face. I'm, it's not lost on me. I do have glasses. I just, <sighs> I don't enjoy those bifocals. Anyways, the name of this colorway, it's more, I've noticed with the Golden Girls that it's more of like a sentence name instead of just a word name. It's a phrase name. But this one's called, look, you didn't ask for my opinion, but I'm old, so I'm giving it anyway. So anyways, so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait. You can really see how rich and beautiful that green is. That's going to be pretty. This coordinating color is a little, I don't know, maybe when you put them all together. I mean, it doesn't look bad together. It's just the other set that I got, this is my second box, it had the color the coordinating mini, there was little splotches of it. I don't know. Once I get it out of its skein, I might see that there's that color, but it doesn't always have to be the exact same anyways. Just this could look good together, right? Okay, so there's that. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I just saw something as I flipped this. Okay, so this isn't a solid teal. This has some really rich, deep, greens running through it as well. You just can't. I bet when I get it balled up, you're going to be able to see it. Just caught That just caught my eye. I don't know how well that's translating, but okay, okay. We'll see. We'll see how it looks together. Okay, so the second purchase that I made, like I said, it was the Sale Yarn. And I'll tell you guys sell section it has some really nice prices because i'm going to tell you this mcn dk is wonderful i love the space this yarn feels so good it is a pleasure to work with i would highly recommend it so one of the things that i did buy guys i am excited for this and we are going to have a video coming up about this it's a little, i guess i shouldn't do that Stink. I got the holiday advent. I wasn't going to miss that one. No way, Jose. That one I was getting. And this colorway that I'm about to show you guys was on sale. And I went on and got two skeins. The skeins for the MCM DK weight are... Let's see if it tells me. Does 
it tell me how many? Yes, 100 gram skeins is 231 yards. So two skeins, 462 yards. But this colorway is really interesting and I was curious if it came from the Halloween advent. I don't know. But it's called Maggot Museum. Which I, the name alone had me. And I love that I got these skeins. They're the same colorway, but because these are hand dyed yarns, each one is unique, right? So this one is heavily colored, at least what I can see in this little skein. And this is gorgeous, guys. It's got blacks. It's got magenta y purple, -y pink, hot pink. It's got deep plummy purple colors. It's got little splotches of hot pink and blue, little bits of everything. It is beautiful. And then this skein here has much less. It's way more speckledy things going on. No, it's not as heavy. So I think I can make a gorgeous shawl. I think I'm going to make a shawl with this. I think it'll be so beautiful. So that is my good yarn haul that I'm so happy about from Trilogy Yarns. And if you guys haven't checked out Trilogy Yarns, you definitely should. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm not making any money by telling you that. Um, maybe one day I'll be fortunate enough to get a discount code that I can share with you guys. But as of now, I do not have one. I haven't requested one either, but... Um, this is, like I said, this is my second month getting the Golden Girls Club. I really like it a lot. I like getting the full skein with the mini skein. And last month I used um, my mini skein in the hat that I made. This month I may or may not, I don't know. I just see how I feel about it. I might just start collecting mini skeins on the side to do a cool mini skein project because I have been researching and watching and looking at all the ideas for mini skein projects because I want to have a plan in place for my Christmas advent. This is my first year getting an advent and I'm super excited and I wanna make a really special Christmas advent project. And I want to do, I have every intention and I'm just hoping, I'm hoping my schedule's gonna allow for it because my boss is having some surgery and I've agreed to help fill in for her while she's gone. So we'll see. I'm, I, but I really want to do the Vlogmas where even if it's just for a few minutes a day, I check in with you guys. And what I really like to do is use that moment to check in, sh show you my um, advent for the day and my progress each day of whatever it is that I'm working on for my advent progress. I do have a really cool video. I'm going to upload it guys. I have been working my little butt off on my whips and I am getting somewhere by gosh, I'm getting somewhere and I cannot wait to show you one of those whips because I'm the most excited about how much progress I've made on it. Anyways, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to drink my tea and then I am going to come back and I'm going to show you guys a yarn haul from Little Knits and let you in on my intentions of what I'm going to do with it. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you for showing up today. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.